The peace and serenity of the Welk home here in Escondido reminds me of another place I call home. Berkeley Springs, West Virginia is a historic spot, the country's first warm mineral spring spa, dating back to the 1740s, I think. George Washington owned land there, as well as three signers of the Declaration of Independence, six members of the Continental Congress, and four other colonial generals. I guess it was the in-place for the early American jet set. Well, these days I perform often at the Country Inn, and it's still a place where people from Washington, D.C. come to relax, as well as large bus groups of Welk fans. In 1998, I did a holiday show for Cornerstone Television there, and they most graciously provided the footage of the town of Berkeley Springs and the Country Inn. Here's one of the things I did on the show, a reading which is, I think, appropriate for both Christmas and Easter. He was born in an obscure village, the child of a peasant woman. He grew up in another obscure village where he worked in a carpenter shop until he was 30. And then for three years, he was an itinerant preacher. He never had a family or owned a home. He never set foot inside a big city. He never traveled 200 miles from the place he was born. He never wrote a book or held an office. He did none of the things that usually accompany greatness. While he was still a young man, the tide of popular opinion turned against him. His friends deserted him. He was turned over to his enemies and went through the mockery of a trial. He was nailed to a cross between two thieves. And while he was dying, his executioners gambled for the only piece of property he had, his coat. And when he was dead, he was taken down and laid in a borrowed grave. Nineteen centuries have come and gone, and today he is the central figure for much of the human race. All the armies that ever marched, and all the navies that ever sailed, all the parliaments that ever sat, and all the kings that ever reigned put together have not affected the life of man upon this earth as powerfully as this one solitary life. Back to our Easter show with Guy and Rolna and a familiar old hymn that should bring back a few memories. Clear, sir. 